And we start with breaking news for you. Grass fire, pretty sizable one, burning on the American River Parkway in Sacramento, causing some evacuations at Cal Expo. One person is injured. More evacuations could be possible. Now, the fire started to the east of I-80 along the river behind Exposition Boulevard. Traffic in the area, as you can imagine, is very congested. We have a number of live images for you. This, of course, the big story. Lots of smoke impacting traffic, as Christina touched on. Another vantage point to the east impacting a busy commute and possibly the evacuation of an apartment complex. They're watching this closely. Another live image, this is the east portion of the fire. So we thought this thing was pretty much done, mm -hmm. uh, Christina, and then some embers kicked up and had it spread. So you hear the helicopters, you see the flames, and we're talking about uh, some fire crews that are just trying to put this thing out right now. We've had a tough afternoon, and CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live at the scene now with more for us. Jennifer? Tony, Christina, this fire continues to spread. We're on the west side, and since we've been out here, we've seen a few flames pop up and trees burn and the vegetation in this area. But the main concern, look over here to the east. This is the main concern. About 70 acres are being threatened. We're told there are campus common apartments over there that the fire is spreading towards. There are maybe more evacuations. Right now, we're told Cal Expo has two evacuations of their, uh, of their rental property and also of their RV show. They say that their admin offices, however, are open. But again, there's a lot of traffic in this area. We spoke with, um, I spoke with the Cal Expo police chief earlier, and he tells me that they're used to fires out here, but this is one of the worst that he has seen. We're also told that the fire division chief will be taking a helicopter up in the sky to figure out just how much acreage is burning. Um, they say this is, while they're used to this area, it is a very difficult area to fight. So the fire initially, when it's down in the field area, these are, um, you know, like head high, chest high fuels. Once it jumped that fire line and got into the tall fuels, it makes it very difficult to fight. Um, very tall flame lengths, uh, lots of spot fires downwind. Uh, the fire begins to create its own weather. We start to get some very, very tall uh, flames and a lot more wind. Uh, and as you probably heard, some of these pops or explosions, uh, you know, you can have arcing power lines. Sometimes there's propane tanks in some of the camps down here. And we have situations where it gets uh, much more dangerous for our firefighters. Right now, their main concern is getting this fire contained. They're not sure where exactly it started, but it does run along the side the American River. Again, they're attacking this by air and on land. They have dozens of crews out here trying to get a handle on this. And as we get more information, we will let you know. Jen, thanks. Yeah, the fire fighter makes a good point because mm -hmm. so many times we're used to fires that stay small in the smaller grass but once it hits the the taller fuel right. Dave that's when things kind of get uh, out of control plus and when we talk about the conditions here he mentions that the fire creates its own weather as well so that will actually accentuate especially when you got those tall flames it creates a lot of rising hot air just put in perspective that is Sacramento it is about three miles away from Sacramento over along the American River right now temperatures are in the upper 80s it's dry humidity is at 24 percent and the winds for the most part are around uh, southwest at five that's why the fire is moving off to the north and to the east and it's not moving very quickly but it is causing some issues out there tomorrow we're going to be well into the 90s so it will be an issue that will uh, accentuate fire dangers we head on into the weekend just wanted to show you this then we'll hop back to the computer if we can but that's a look sort of a wide shot of all the smoke that's going up in the air and it gives you an idea of what people are seeing and why they're slowing down so much on the freeways out there because it is a very tall column of smoke so if we can hop back to the computer I put in this blue on here and this is a representative of the top of possibly cloud tops or a smoke plume. Right now it's at about 4,000 feet straight up and it's not moving uh, a lot and not leaning over a lot because the winds aren't super strong. But again, you get those rising columns of air with very tall flames. You're going to have a, a lot of vortices in there that could really spin that fire and send it off in all sorts of directions. So back over to you guys. We'll have details on, of course, our forecast here in just a little bit. All right. We'll see you in a few. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. We've gotten a lot of pictures out there uh, from you, our viewers. As we're taking a look at some of the video that was shot this afternoon, you can see what Dave was talking about. Lots of smoke there uh, in the area. Additionally, Cal Expo brought out some water tankers, as you saw there, to try to take care of doing some structure protection on their, uh, on their structures as well there at Cal Expo. This was early on in the fire when it first began. Right. If you're thinking, aren't there a lot of fires around this part? Yeah, there are. But again, as we talked about, uh, the fuel really got to the taller trees, and that's when that happened. No structures burned. One per person was transported because of smoke inhalation, and they're doing fire protection right now just to make sure that uh, the spread does not impact more people as they're keeping an eye on the campus commons apartments 
just to make sure that the flames don't get too close to it. So we'll stay on top of this for you again. Uh, driving around town, you're going to see that heavy smoke, and that's from this fire burning as we take another look at some viewer vi video shot by uh, one of our Simon Desk uh, uh, managers, uh, Mike Rogers, who lives near this scene as they try to put a handle on this thing. We'll stay on top of it and bring you more details as soon as we get more information.